Hello and welcome. We're really excited to have everyone here today for our weekly OCI Deep Dive. For those of you who may be new to our events, we're hosted on Cloud Customer Connect platform, our Oracle Community Forum for end users. And of course, we invite you to create a free account, join in discussions, and look for upcoming events on all kinds of topics. I'm Zaid, Product Marketing Manager with OCI Go-To-Market Strategy Team. And today we are joined by my colleague, our presenter, Daniel Halden. Daniel is Analytics and Lakehouse Cloud Design Specialist and part of the EMEA Cloud Solutions Specialist Team. We also have Jose, Analytics Data Platform and Lakehouse Specialist Leader. Jose will be helping us with the Q&A. Together, they'll walk us through OCI real-time analytics with some industry use cases, real-life patterns, and a few OCI capabilities in that domain. Okay, that's enough for me now. Please go ahead and take it away, Daniel. Thank you. So many customers Many, many customers I speak with is usually mentioning that they want to be able to get more and do more with the data. Analysts as well agree that data is key to competitive advantage. Data is changing the way businesses are being built and run. Many business leaders will agree that future success is increasingly reliant on their ability to turn real-time data into a differentiating advantage. The ability to quickly separate raw data allows queries to collect and process relevant data quickly. This, in turn, allows for faster and better prediction and decision-making. Speed is a key advantage of real-time data analytics. The less time a business has to wait for data to be processed, the more quickly an organization can use data to make changes and work with important decisions. A key requirement to get more value from real-time data is to foster an analytics-driven culture with real-time data, streaming processing, machine learning, and AI. So many of us has a notation of what real-time means, but when it comes to defining the term, the definition may differ. Real-time is defined by requirements of maximum tolerance or deadlines of time to completion. For real-time, we typically talk about two degrees. Real-time, usually in sub-seconds or seconds, and near real-time, seconds, minutes, or even hours. What is real-time analytics? Said as simply as possible, Real-time analytics is the ability to do something valuable with data as quickly as it's generated. For some use cases, real-time simply means that the analytics processing is completed within a few seconds or minutes after the arrival of new data. Gartner identifies two different types of real-time analytics. On-demand real-time analytics, that is, waits for the user or system to request a query and then delivers the analytics results. Secondly, continuous real-time analytics is more proactive and alerts users or triggers responses as the events happen. All organizations are collecting new data constantly. Creating insights from data is a must for organizations. They are collecting data, make it better, and applying useful data analytics methods and techniques for discovery. All data and insights have a storage life or shelf life. If data sits unprocessed and not acted upon, the less valuable it becomes. For real-time application, the value of data drops quickly as time passes. But what the uh, shelf life is, the time frame or deadline when data is no longer relevant depends on the specific context and needs of a workload. In order to be valuable to organization, real-time analytics architecture must deal with three data attributes. Freshness, delay until data is available to act upon. 
Secondly, latency, the sum of the data latency and the query latency. And third, concurrency, the number of concurrent low latency access by different data consumers. Streaming data describes continuously data ingestion, implying potential for decreased time to completion, but with no requirement on time to response. However, streaming data enables continuously propagating of data, transaction events in a data stream for real-time application and analytics. Stream processing often calls for multiple tasks on a data stream, which can be performed serially, in parallel, or both. Let's look at a typical streaming processing flow. Left to right, the real-world event occurs. Then the event is captured at the source. The event is transferred through a messaging system like Kafka. The event is then executed in a pipeline process that can be pre-processing, the analytics execution, and then putting the result or the outcome. The result is shared to data consumers, which acts on the results in either a human machine interaction, a front-end like analytics tools, a mobile app, web portal applications, or for automated system integrations. Let's look at some good practices for analytics in data in motion. Handle everything as a source of events, including database transactions. Take a streaming first approach for data ingestion. Analyze data in real time with streaming processing. Move data at scale with low latency and move data as little as possible. That is, push down and do analytics on the data store when you have the option. Optimize data flows by using real-time streaming data for more than one purpose and publish to multiple targets. Let's look at, at an example of a data flow. Will it be fast enough? Envision the following requirements. The analytics application should propagate events on the dashboard with a max deadline of two and a half seconds after the real world event occurred. Okay, at zero point time, the app end occurred. At 03 seconds, the event is transferred through a messaging system. At 1.5, the streaming processing pipeline completed. At one six second, the result is available for data consumers. In this example, um, the results are propagated to a data store as well as to a publisher scribe Kafka queue. And then at 1.9 seconds, the result is visible on the da dashboard. On this example, with a two and a half seconds at the deadline, we were able to make it utilizing a streaming processing. Okay, before we proceed into the Oracle data platform, let's look briefly at the difference between batch, micro-batch processing versus streaming to assess the appropriate data mining strategy. Let's revisit the shelf life. When should the inside process, the analyst processing, be refreshed with new data? Staying current with data sources is a fundamental challenge, so it's important to choose the right model for the data refresh policy. Batch run on timetable. Streaming is on continuous data ingestion. Micro-batching is batch processing, but it's about splitting data into a series of smaller independent tasks that allows to take advantage of parallel processing. A micro batch can be processed in time interval, load and process data after an interval time, or custom triggers. That is, load data by custom triggers. For example, batch data that exceeds a size limit, or batch data that contains more than X entries of data. Then, how to select the approach for data ingestion and the data processing? Is there a need to be on seconds level, close to real time, the choice is streaming. Near real time in minutes, then the choice is between streaming or micro-batching. And then not real time, 
than is traditional batch ingesting and processing on timetable. So let's look at opportunities to transform your real-time data into actionable insights. That is, get more and do more with your data. These are use cases that we see our customer across different industries aspire to do on real-time data. Data-driven use cases by organization spanning from telecom, finance, utilities, manufacturing, transportation, retail, and healthcare. We see a trend of great examples on how to convert real-time data into real tangible business outcome. Let's look at some, not in detail, but just an, an high overview. For telecom, we see example video analytics, we see network management, geolocation marketing. If we move into utilities, uh, oil and gas, work for management and real-time drilling analysis. Manufacturing, here we see logistics and route optimizations, smart inventory and quality control out of real-time data. In, real in retail, for example, dynamic pricing and forecasting, stock management, retention and issues intervention. For financial service, fraud detection, risk management, real-time analysis of, of uh, currency exchange um, and customer retention. For transportation, uh, track and trace around asset and vehicle, uh, logistics and route optimization. And for healthcare, in-home patient monitoring, safer cities, medical fraud detection. And then for data management, this topic today uh, about how to ingest data into data lake house, uh, into a warehouse, doing streaming ETL data pipelines, as well as using this for, for doing better data ops. The Oracle data platform provides established architecture patterns, including real-time transactional from any location, real-time transactions from ground to cloud, data availability across domains and regions, industry apps data transactions, real-time transactions from messaging platforms, real-time ingest into data and data lake house, continuous data flows for big data processing, and real-time microtransaction applications. Typical technical use case for real-time analysis includes create interactive analytics tools, event correlation, that is event processing, ordering, filtering, aggregates, working with time series data, with sliding and shifting windows, geographical boundary analytics, forecasting, event scoring and predictive analysis, and then share and process information on transparent dashboards. Okay, let's look at uh, what is an Oracle data platform. Um, okay, if your systems of records compromise of SaaS applications or ERP applications at on-prem or IoT sensor, social media feeds or any third-party application, all of that data can be collected, processed, stored and analyzed on OCI. The system of engagements will enable your data engineers to collect and process the real-time data as well as the my batch and micro batch into a data lake house. Next comes our system intelligence, where we have advanced analytics, ML, AI services. However, you can use any third-party analytics, AI, ML tools, and notebooks of your choice. Enable your developers to develop cloud native applications using low code, no code developer service like Apex or use your existing developer platform and DevOps practices. We help you generate key insights from your data to predictive and perceived analytics and build your own data products or trigger actions into your system of records based on insights. Okay. The Oracle Data Platform supports for the whole data stack, data integration, collect, 
ingest all type of data, including real-time data and streaming at different velocity and scale. Data warehousing, data lake and data lake house manage all type of data, relational document, time series, spatial and graph. Big data processing analytics, process data at scale with open source technology using managed or serverless infrastructure. Machine learning and AI, build model where your data is, augment apps with AI services, generative AI and large language models with Cohere. And analytics, complete analytics platform for pixel perfect reporting, data visualization, data preparations, augmented analytics and real time and stream analytics. To summarize, all of these services and technologies are part and available in Oracle Cloud wherever you need them. OCI is great for connecting your existing on-premise application and real-time data sources. OCI is great for running new cloud-native workloads, as well as OCI is great for running split-stack workloads between different cloud providers. Now, let's look how the Oracle platform supports creating business insight using real-time data. Let's start with the ingest and transformation capabilities. When ingesting and transforming real-time data, there's a, a few uh, key capabilities you need to evaluate to determine the best ingest and transformation method. Um, these capabilities include data la latency, data format, structure, semi-structure, unstructured, data sources, that is relational, files, non-relational, IoT, logs, etc., protocol available, and connectivity options. Okay. Um, the change data capture. Here you find Golden Gate that moves data in real time at scale. Golden Gate process data as it moves from one or more data management system to target database, streams, and messaging systems. Oracle Data Integrator works well as a partner with Oracle Golden Gate for complex data transformation. Streaming in uh, uh, OCI, uh, the streaming in Jest. It's OCI streaming service. Streaming is a Kafka compatible real-time event stream platform for data. OCI Q for using open standards like Stomp and Open API REST um, endpoints to handle high volume transactional data that requires independent process without loss or duplication. OCI Service Connector Hub provides a central place for executing data movements between OCI service such as obvious storage and stream. Streaming process. Golden Gate and OCI Golden Gate Stream Analytics to model, process, analyze, and act on real-time streaming data information by using correlation patterns, time series analytics, geospatial analytics, and machine learning. OCI data flow that runs Spark streaming jobs on continuous data streams, a fully managed automated service on, for Spark applications. You also find OCI Big Data Service for, for real-time streaming and data processing, a fully managed as well as automated cloud service for Spark, Hadoop, as well as Flink. Then OCI Function and Service Connector Hub, building lightweight data processing and build event-driven application from continuous data in OCI streaming. For micro batching, OCI data integration, that is the cloud native ELT service that transforms and loads data into data warehouses and data lakes in OCI. Oracle Data Integrator, the mature Oracle product delivering performance, data transformation, and validation. Oracle application integration, connect your applications and data source using internet APIs. And then OCI data flow, run Spark processing for implementing high volume and repeating data jobs. Let's now move to the persist, create, and create uh, capabilities. The persistent layer is where data and results are stored for access. Depending on the context and use case, there are multiple stages that data may pass through a streaming to raw data to created information. 
for storage, autonomous data warehouse, and MySQL Heatwave for analytics on any data. Transactional data stores like autonomous transaction processing for mission critical transaction processing, exit data running database with the highest performance and availability, Oracle core databases, NoSQL databases, obvious storage as a de facto storage for standard and, and data lakes, and in memory cache with Redis. Analyze, learn, and predict. Access in interpretation platform includes virtualization capabilities for analytics of both static and streaming data. In addition, the result of executed machine learning and models are created and exposed for analytics. Oracle Analytics Cloud provides a variety of options for intelligent analysis in an efficient way. We find uh, Oracle Search Services with Open Search that allows you to build in application search that can result in milliseconds uh, with large data volumes. Oracle Data Science Cloud for data science team to build, train, and manage machine learning models. Oracle Machine Learning, move algorithm to the data, executing machine learning within the database. AI services, ready to consume service for language, speech, document, vision, anomaly detection and forecasting, and then generative AI with coherence large language models. Data products for apps and, and APIs. Oracle Kubernetes Engine for serverless functions to build real-time and event-driven application at scale using events for streams, queues, database, and object storage. An OCI gateway and, and REST data services enables you to create and govern interface for other services, including OCI functions, container engines, and for REST for databases. Okay, today we will look at five different use cases and architectures using Oracle Data Platform real-time capabilities. Number one, is the real-time predictions on manufacturing unit failure with enterprise asset management system. Secondly, we're going to looking at uh, stream analytics for high velocity sensor data. Third is real-time data streaming and image identification. Real-time high throughput event-driven application and last, how to build a real-time analytics application with in-memory cache using Redis. Okay, uh, this use case is about real-time prediction from manufacturing unit failure with asset management system. How can I manage my inventory in real-time? How can I gain insights into supplier performance in real time? How can I do this with fast time to value? These are the outcomes that are delivered by this design by integrate real time predictions on manufacturing unit failure with enterprise asset management to manage assets and manufacture. Now let's explore the solution. This design leverage on a custom machine learning model that is user prediction, a model that has been created and deployed through OCI data science, where the data science team build, train, and deploy the model using open source tools. Real-time events are ingested from manufacturing assets for prediction and probable failure processing. The OCI streaming service provides a Kafka-compatible event streaming platform for ingesting and consuming high-volume data streams in real time. The uploaded asset events contains information like timestamp, asset ID, process temperature, rotation speed, tool wear. Service Connector Hub reads stream data from OCI streaming. Service Connector Hub triggers an OCI function that run the machine learning prediction, that is the scoring of probable failure on asset. The OCI function stores the scoring prediction results to OCI object storage. The data 
is then processed by a Spark application running an OCI data flow. The Spark application pipeline process aggregates and persist output to an autonomous data warehouse. Further, this design also integrates master data, that is asset inventory and procurement data from an enterprise asset management system into the autonomous data warehouse. Asset data that is used for analytics in combination with scoring results from the manufacturing units. The asset insight provided by this use case by Oracle Analytics, that is asset predicted to fail before expected end of life and to identify badly performing manufacturers. Okay, well, before we jump to the next use case, let's revisit Spark streaming integrated with reference data and machine learning that can be used by Golden Gate Stream Analytics, OCI Dataflow, or Big Data Running Spark. Let's go from left to right. You have a sp Spark streaming with data from a streaming source or from an object storage um, running the Spark batch model. The main stages are pre-processing, analyze, act and deliver. Pre-processing are tasks like filter, aggregate, transform, correlate, enrich, and geofence. Analyze prediction, machine learning, a set of machine learning algorithms uh, depending on the use case for time window, data pattern, spatial analytics, anonymous, classification, clustering, etc. Then ACT, that is then taking the business rules and policies with the condi conditional logic. And then the action, notify, publish, invoke, execute, visualize, and persist. For reference data, you could be access a large volume of reference data, from example, autonomous database, uh, or from an object storage. For machine learning, that is prepare data sets using feature engineering methods that can be used to build machine learning models. Five is about create and the machine learning model. Deploy the model for access. Build the Spark line, Spark processing pipeline um, in one of, of the stages of the pipeline where you do the ML scoring, etc. When streaming data flows through the Spark pipeline, a Spark application would access this machine learning model through a service-oriented REST interface with data that needs to be scored. The service then calling the, the scoring model would then persist it uh, to the data, different data consumers on the right here, that is the different destinations. Okay, let's go to the next use case. This use case is about stream analytics on high velocity data sensors. The overall flow includes capturing high volume of unique data points, continuously streamed from sensors, sensors information that includes both complex and simple data. Once collected, the data is distributed to third party media data server application and third party real time data management application for Data pre-processing, where data is transformed from a proprietary format to a JSON format. The JSON data produced by the applications are continuously published to Golden Gate Stream Analytics via OCI Streaming, which runs the data pipelines. Golden Gate Stream Analytics enables users to identify events of interest by executing queries against the event streams in real time. It provides real-time monitoring, transforming streaming data, or raise alerts based on streaming analytics. The result of the streaming analytics pipelines is then sent and persisted to autonomous data warehouse. The real-time data management applications running on the flexible uh, compute shapes is used to, for both streaming data and batch processing of offloaded sensor data. In this design, batch data is ingested into object storage, then automatically loaded into and processed into autonomous data warehouse. Further, application transactional data are persisted on autonomous database in real-time replication to autonomous data warehouse 
using Golden Gate for database to database replication. And then finally, OCI Load Balancer with Oracle REST Data Services is used to expose data from autonomous data warehouse to the different data uh, consumers. Let's look at the third use case here. This is a use case of real-time data streaming and object identification using OCI Golden Gate, OCI Vision, and Oracle Autonomous Database. Multiple feeds are ingested into design. At its, at its core are real-time data streaming from event producers into autonomous database using OCI Streaming and OCI Golden Gate where OCI Golden Gate provides a simplified and efficient way to stream data to various sources. In here, OCI streaming is used. It supports a variety of other sources as well uh, for reducing data latency and ensuring data accuracy. This design performs real-time image identification using OCI Vision. OCI Vision is one of the several AI services available on OCI. OCI Vision gives you the power to apply machine learning and artificial intelligence without need of data uh, science expertise. OCI Vision includes pre-built models available out of the box, which allows image recognition and text recognition to build your, your applications with our, without prior machine learning expertise. But it can also be used with the data labeling service to create custom models for specific data that you have. In this use case, the OCI Vision custom model has been trained using labeled data sets uh, of objects to process. So the object identification flow, the image producer uploads images to OCI object storage. OCI events is used to automate the Im image process. Um, when images are uploaded to object storage, the associated event triggers uh, then a function. Uh, the request is sent to the serverless function to call OCI the vision service. The created vision model um, is able to, to provide outputs, the metadata of each recognized object. The function then calls the autonomous database to store the metadata for the processed image objects. Further, autonomous database runs Oracle machine learning models to bring out interesting insights from OCI vision metadata and the, the, the real-time data. Finally, data consumers pulls their required data via the API gateway backed by OCI functions. As this is an internet-facing service, uh, the OCI web application firewall provides layer 7 protection for DDoS and other web application attack vectors. Let's look at the fourth use case. This use case is about real-time high throughput event-driven application. This flow manages data events sent at different velocity from different data producers to event-driven microservices on OCI. The microservice architecture styles is an approach developing an application as a suite of small independently deployed services built around specific business capabilities. The Oracle Container Engine cluster connects with OCI streaming for receiving real-time events. The microservice on the Kubernetes engine uses OCI queuing for asynchronous connectivity, where they publish and subscribe to the queues transparently. When you combine these messaging capabilities with a simple concept of microservice, you can greatly enhance the agility with which you build, deploy, and maintain complex data pipelines. Pipelines are constructed by simply chaining together multiple microservices each of which listens for the arrival of some data, performs its designated task, and then publish its results message, in this case, to OCI Open Search. This design also streams data to an autonomous database in real time where the 
Service Connector Hub reads stream data from OCI streaming. The Service Connector Hub then triggers an OCI function task that will make insertion updates to the autonomous database. And then finally, the end user interface is built on using Apex or Visual Builder. It's connected to OCI Open Search and the autonomous database as the query backend data source to return search results in milliseconds, even for large data sets. Let's look at the fifth use case. Redis is an in-memory key value store that is commonly used as a cache, a message broker and stream engine to improve application performance by providing ultra-fast data delivery from increased response times. This does this by accessing data stored in memory rather than querying the disk of an application database. Redis cache delivers sub milliseconds response times, allowing fast and powerful real-time application in industries like retail, fintech, social media, healthcare. Allow applications in written in modern web frameworks like React or using Node.js that use different Redis data types that can be hashes, lists, sets, bitmaps, geospatial index, and streams, where Redis has built-in replication, transaction, and different levels of disk on disk persistence, and as well as provide high availability. So here comes the design. Assume that we have an internet-based application, which is generating all events, and we are running real-time application on that those applications. Um, we have an OCI streaming, a Kafka topic, which takes all events from the, the web-based application. We continuously process all events to generate metrics. The OCI data flow is going to provide the streaming data pipeline, running a patch spark streaming to process the events in near real time. Instead of putting the metrics into a traditional database, we are going to put that into an OCI managed Redis memory store. And then we are able to build real time dashboards. The reason for memory store is that Redis allows us to operate, uh, to do operations in build for different kinds of um, data set operations. As well, reference data maintained in a data warehouse by autonomous database are also loaded into the OCI cache with Redis for fast access for the data pipeline. The application, the dashboard applications built on Kubernetes are sitting on top of, of this data, processing the metrics efficiently. In addition to this design, the pipeline store aggregated data points to an autonomous database for historical um, analytics with slice and dice analytics. Okay, um, we will close this presentation by emphasizing that the Oracle platform support your different data architecture approaches with capabilities for real-time and near real-time data ingestion, processing and insights, mapping to your different architecture styles of preference, data warehousing, data lake, data lake house, and data mesh designs. The supply of real-time data come from apps, devices, and sensors, creating new observations and adding them to an ever-growing stock of data capital. The demand for data comes primarily from analytics and AI, chewing on those data sets to improve action and decision across organizations. Now at 2023, IT infrastructure has dramatically changed Networking, containers, cloud, compute, IoT, etc., are pushing data to the edge. A mature data processing architecture is no longer a single instance hub, but rather distributed data architecture with event streaming for real time, an architecture enabled for data in motion, 
supporting stream data processing, change events and time series data in a new multi-cloud area. With that, I want to thank you. And thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Jose. Another fantastic presentation on OCI real-time analytics with real-life patterns and use cases. We greatly appreciate your time and a special thank you to Daniel and Jose for this presentation. We hope to see you next time and thank you for attending.